Do you have a Duramax that has a crank and no start? Well, check this first. What's with Tone here, guys? And today I have a 2005 Chevy Duramax with a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax engine. And it came in as a crank no start. And, well, there it is. And the majority of the time that I get a crank no start, it is a fuel issue. It's not getting fuel. So on this one, I scanned for codes, and I got a U0105, uh, lost communication with the FICM, fuel injection control module. So I go and I research the code, and uh, it's not going to fire because the FICM is not working. So I researched the code, and they say to check the fuse. They say to check some connectors at the FICM on the valve cover. So I go through, I check a bunch of connectors, and I check for the fuse. So we're going to come right here, and we're going to open this up, and we're going to go right there to that fuse right there. That is for the FICM on a diesel. On a gas, it's like uh, injector B or injector 2. Uh, so that fuse right there is the one we're going to test. And I tested it, and it was blown. So I replaced the fuse and cleared the code and tried to start it. It started right up. So a common cause of this code, if you have a blown fuse, is wiring. So a few places that they say the wiring could have failed, or, well, actually, it's very common for the wiring. Let me just show you. So your wiring goes along here, it goes through these connectors, it goes all down up under the engine. And if you've never dealt with one of these, this is quite intricate, the way the harness goes through. And it comes over here, and your FICM is right there. So I've got a tool that we're going to use, and what we're going to do is, obviously I don't have a short right now because the fuse is not blowing, and the vehicle is starting. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use this tool, we're going to put it in there, and we're going to look for a short. It's most likely not going to have short because it starts and the code clears. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the tool set up, and we're going to perform a wiggle test on all this wiring. We're going to really, really stress it, push it, pull it, twist it, and we're going to be looking for a short to ground. All right, so let's go for a tool gathering all right, so we're going to go in here. This is my diagnostic locker here. So all my, di well, not that, but this is all my diagnostic tools all through here. So we need this guy right here. It doesn't come out because of these other cases. So we're going to take this stuff out. And we're going to grab this guy here. And put this stuff back. And it's pretty cool, huh? The lockers, they have lights. You can, uh, you can grab these on my Amazon store, I believe. Uh, I got one set per locker. So it goes like that. And open up the door, and it lights up. Pretty cool. Got one on each shelf. All right, so here's the tool. It's called Devo. And I'll have a link down below for this. Now, this is the master kit. So um, I use, this is the forward probe kit here use this all the time uh, so this one is not in here but normally this would be in here and then you have your Devo you have your your different connectors I have the ones that I use quite often in my toolbox and then you have all the stuff and I'll show you how to hook all this up so before we get started you're going to need to come over here and when you look at this fuse you're gonna notice that this fuse is not hot so you're going to need something to find the power so that fuse is not hot right there at all because the key is off that's the most important part so what we need to do is we need to find out what side of the fuse goes to the FICM and the way that you find that out is right now obviously the it has no power so what we're going to do is we're going to remove this fuse just like that and then we're going to turn the key on and we're going to use the power probe and figure out which terminal has power. All right, key is on. Now we're gonna take the, this is a power probe maestro, by the way. This tests fuel injectors, it is all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna see that this side's hot, okay? We're gonna come over here and this side should not be hot. So now we know that the front, the front, terminal of this fuse is the FICM side. 
So we're going to come over here to the forward probe kit and we're going to find the forward probes that are the same as this fuse. So we can look here and it looks like this orange guy here is the same as the fuse. You can see it looks the same. So now we're going to come over here and we're going to plug this into the front forward, the front fuse connection. Now the reason that you want a forward probe is because if you use the wrong terminal and you push it in here, you will open the contacts in this fuse box. So then when you plug your fuse in, you will have no contact or intermittent contact with that fuse and you'll have a problem and it's something you created. So now we've got this, so now let's set up the Devo. So now let's set this up. All right, so the first thing you're gonna have is you're gonna have this cable right here and you can see it's got a fuse on there and both ends have banana jacks, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and undo this Velcro here and we're gonna lay this out. Now this side goes closest to the battery. I mean, not closest, this goes to the battery. So we're gonna go in here and grab our alligator clips right there that are provided with Devo and they're big, big alligator clips. We're gonna go ahead and plug these in to the red and black. Next, we're gonna connect these to the battery. Okay. And all right. Now, this is important that the fuse goes to the battery side because that's where the power comes from. So you want it to be fused straight out of the battery, like right away. You don't want it to travel through all of this uh, leads uh, if there's a problem. You're gonna take these two, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, so here's the Devo, it's not on. We'll see that in a second. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in. We got a red and a black on this side. So we're gonna plug in the red, and we're gonna plug in, I mean, plug in the black, then we're gonna plug in the red. All right. So, we are not on something because we have the Devo is not on. All right, so I didn't have a very good connection. So you're gonna see it looks like this. And battery voltage is 11.838485 volts on the left side there, on this side. So this is battery voltage and this is your circuits. So they're red because they're not hooked up. There's nothing there. So we're gonna take the black lead. Now, this terminal here, it goes from the fuse straight to the FICM. Actually, it splits and it goes to two terminals in the FICM. Two different pins. Uh, pin, let's see what pins they are. I wrote them down. We got pins uh, 5 and 119. So 5 and 119 feed the ignition 1 voltage uh, circuit or pins on the, on the FICM. So we're going to plug one of these into the black side of the Devo, the bottom. And we're going to plug the other side. Now let's take a look at this. Let's go ahead and get up here and let's see what this looks like. All right. So now we have this. Now this should not be connected to ground because if this was connected to ground, then the fuse would be blowing all the time. So we're going to plug this in. Now the way Devo works is when you have a green LED, that means the circuit is good. There's no problem with the circuit. So, we are gonna plug that in, and as you can see, we have red. So we have a 2.4, 2.45 voltage loss on that wire, and it is red. So, what we're gonna do is, like I said, when it's green, that means that the ground circuit is correct, and it uses the battery, and it, this is better than a multimeter, a power probe, this loads the wires, this does everything. So. Now we're going to do a wiggle test while this is hooked up, while watching this, to make sure that LED never turns red. 
So we'll just come over here and we'll just do a quick wiggle test. I already took these connectors off, so I'm gonna need some screwdrivers and stuff like that, but we'll set this up. All right, so what we're looking for is for this LED here to turn green. Okay, so it'll only stay on for so long, and then you have to power it off. So you can see we have a 4.2, 4.3, 4-volt uh, voltage loss. So this is how much voltage is, lose, is lost between the, the connection here and the ground side. So now let's go ahead and do a wiggle test. I don't ever go back and watch my diags over again on a video. This is one of the first times I've ever done this, and it's actually kind of cool. So what I did was I disconnected those two big bulkhead connectors there right on top of the driver's valve cover. And I'm still connected to the fuse circuit, the fuse port. So the fuse, the fuse wire right there at the fuse, it ends at the bulkhead connectors when I disconnect them. So I've completely taken out the wiring from the bulkhead to the thickum, I've taken that out of the equation. Now I'm doing that so I can gain access and wiggle the wires. So here I'm hooking up the Devo again, and now I've got the harness all freed up in a lot of places, and so we're gonna do a wiggle test, and we're gonna see if we can figure out why we had a 2.36 voltage loss up to like anywhere it was around four volts of voltage loss, meaning that we had a connection to ground. And so now what we're going to do is I'm going to go straight to the connector that goes to the thickum, and we're going from that connector. So we bypass the connector to the fuse box. And now we're just checking that amount, that wiring there. And as you can see, the voltage is fluctuating a little bit, 11.29, 11.3. So we're not connected to ground at all, and we have not found the short. When we first started, the short was present. So now that I've done this, now I understand that in the beginning, I should have been looking for the short because I had a short from the very, very beginning. I just didn't realize it. I was so focused on the LED turning green that I didn't even didn't even register that that voltage loss on the ground side was actually telling me, hey, the problem is present. It's only a two to four volt loss. So it's not enough to pop the fuse because it's not pulling enough current. But as soon as that voltage loss gets bigger or the wire heats up, then it's enough to pop that fuse. So here I'm wiggling the harness all over the engine and I'm just not seeing it. We're not seeing the short. The short is not there. So if you do deductive thinking, you understand that the only thing that I have done is move the wiring, which tells you that I, have a sh I had a short, and right now it's not touching, showing that I do not have a short right now. All right, so I was correct on the fact that when we had 4.3 volt loss on here, uh, we had a short. And then all of a sudden we had a no volt of loss. So, uh, the thickum is controlled by two wires going through this connector. Number one and number five. So, we're gonna look right here. I don't know how this is gonna be really hard with one hand. Let's try to do this with one hand. Okay, so. Hey, Dano. Hey, help me real quick. Please. Okay, so A1 is this wire right here. And if we count over, so two and three are not used. So you can see right there, there's number two, number three not used, number four is pink, and number five is pink coming from this side. So one, nothing, nothing, and then four and five. So let's see if we can zoom in. Never mind. Let's see if we can zoom in on this. All right. 
So you can see right there, we have a break in the wiring right there. So that is rubbing on the bracket, causing a short to ground on the bracket, which blew the fuse. So now we need to, uh, well, we need to fix that. All right, so this is really cool. Uh, first time using a Devo for this. Uh, so with the Devo, uh, it's pretty cool. I thought when you had a Devo, I thought you had to use, um, I thought you had to use the power in the ground at the same time. I didn't realize that you can use them independently. You can use this side to just test power. You can use this side to test ground, or you can hook them up both to the same component. And then if, if you get green LEDs, then you know you have power and ground to that component. You have control and the components bad. So I'm using just the ground side. So I come over here to the side of the fuse that feeds the pick'em. And when I first hook it up, I had a four to 4.3 voltage loss. I didn't realize that that was telling me that I had a short. I was mostly looking at the LED. LEDs will go red, green, you know, whatever. I mean, yellow or red if there's a problem. I never saw yellow. You know, actually green, if it red green, that means I had a short to ground. So I was more looking at the, the green, the LED. I didn't realize that the 4.3 volts here was telling me that I did have a short. So start doing a wiggle test and all of a sudden when I did my wiggle test, this went to 11 point something volts. So then I couldn't get it to read again. It was 11.3 no matter what I did. So I decided to come in here and I went straight to this connector here and, uh, and still nothing. So I unbolted the connector and started doing an inspection. And you can see right there, that pink wire, that is the A5 wire that feeds the Ficum. We have that bolted, that wire on the left there, that's the A1, that one feeds it, and also A5. So we have a short to ground right there, rubbing on the bracket. This is gonna be a fix. And Devo, thank you for getting back to me yesterday so quickly on how to do this. You guys should go check them out. Devo, baby. So that's my first time testing for a short to ground with anything other than a multimeter, going through a flow chart. I've had that Devo for a long time and I never really understood how to use it. Uh, I actually, uh, Devo's awesome. I actually uh, had this problem and I was gonna be troubleshooting it the next day. I reached out to Devo and found out that you don't have to test the power in the ground at the same time. So I thought that like, let's say you have a vent solenoid and you have a EVAP code or EVAP problem and you suspect the vent solenoid's not working. You can back probe the, the, the positive side with the red wire, back probe the ground side with the, with the black wire, activate the Devo. And if you have a red, if you have a green LED for both power and ground, that means that you have, you have good voltage, you had no voltage loss and the component work or the component had everything it needs. So I thought that was the only way to use it. The good thing about the Devo is you can use the power side or the ground side. And this was awesome. And it was awesome for me to learn this. So you guys should go check them out. I'll drop a link below on, on Devo. You have a website, all kinds of different kits and, uh, drop a comment down below and let me know if you have a Devo or what is your preferred method for finding a short to ground or a wiring problem. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.